just want to show you one thing. I had this, I mean, sitting out in a little office here under the mulberry tree. I had a, a female jumping spider land on my leg the other day, and I could tell she was pregnant because her abdomen was so, so fat. She's a fat little spider. So I, I put on this leaf behind me, and because I, I could tell she's looking for somewhere to, to lay her little egg sac, and uh, she's made a little nest behind me. I'll show you. It's pretty cool. You might be able to see, you might not, but. Let's see, where are we here? Just, you can sort of see here. There's like a little, uh, you can sort of see. That's where my finger is there. There's a little face looking at you. It's, I mean, it's hard to see. I'm not sure a spider nut you'll be able to tell, but it's, uh, she's just chilling out, man, my little buddy. But it's just amazing to just be able to, uh, see, yeah, feel what's going on there, the spider, and uh, instead of just, uh, squashing the poor little bugger, just put it up in my, my hand, so that jump in my hand, and put it over the leaf and she's straight away, as soon as she landed on the leaf, she's just scatting it out. I'm like, yep, she's gonna be you're making a little silk cocoon there and laying some little eggs for little spiderlings. Anyways, did 1130 kilometers along the bike last week, 1130. After two days of recovery, just did 70 yesterday, 90 on Sunday, I feel, on the bike this morning I went out and man, I feel so fucking strong on the bike. It's, it's a pretty cool feeling, it's a good feeling. Just. Totally natural, man. Totally natural. Just, just uh, that high energy feeling you get, and, and those that know what I'm talking about, you know, they know what I'm talking about. It's, it's a pretty good feeling, man. When you can just, you can just ride as hard as you want up any hill. And uh, last week was amazing. Just a lot of, a lot of social riding, and none of it was stressful at all. It was, it was just so much fun. Just talking with people, trash talking people, riding up hills, racing up hills, doing 260 k's one day, and. Just thousands of cyclists out the road in two and under time in Adelaide, Australia is really good. Such a great way to, to get in some uh, get in some miles and legs. And, and none of it, none. Of, I'll be honest with you, no, not a single kilometre felt like a chore. Why? I was carved up, hydrated. And I was going to bed at eight, nine o'clock every single night. So taking care of my sleep, water, sugar every day, and just the the mental stimulation of just being around like-minded people all week was just fantastic. But having that foundation of sleep, water, sugar every day solid. It meant that my mental state could always be in peak, peak excitement, peak fun, peak gratitude, peak appreciation for the being in the moment. And uh, so I just wanted to share that again. 1130 kilometers, sleep, water, sugar is your friend, and uh, it's fantastic. So this week I'll uh, just have an easy week, recovery week, just maybe 200 to 300 kilometers, just cruising around, and, uh, and then next week we'll, uh, we'll jack it up a bit more again. So you've got to have your recovery weeks in there as well. You can't always go, 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 go. You've got to have recovery week, absorb the training, and then your body goes up again. So this year, 2012, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a good year for fitness. It's going to be a good year for fitness. I've got the Bangkok Marathon coming up. I think it's in February. We've got to February 21st, something like that. So looking forward to that one. It's going to be a hot run. So the question of the day, someone asked me, Harley, what about olive oil? What is, what's your take on oil? My take on oil is good for your bike chain. It's good for massage. In terms of your food, I'm not a fan of oil. I'll eat a salad if someone's put some oil on there, if it's a little bit, but otherwise, man, the less oil you eat, the better your fitness and health is gonna be. Oil is just like, it's just gonna sludge up your system. We're not designed to be consuming oil. Oil is like refined fat. So it's good for massage, it's good for your bike chain, but we're not the tin man. We don't need to oil our knees and elbows with a, you know, <laughs> some oil. And <laughs> we're not a bicycle. Leave the oil for the bicycle. Leave the oil for the massage. Do the experiment. Just do the experiment. Do your 10K time. Time yourself for a 10K. And then have as much oil as you want that week. And then, uh, say, do a 10K time trial Sunday morning. Have as much oil as you want that week. And then do another 10K time trial that Sunday morning. And just notice how your legs feel. Notice how your time goes down. Notice how it's harder to breathe and harder to really pump it. So just notice that. Do the experiment. I encourage people to experiment. Don't just listen to me. Do the experiment. Do you know? Be objective. Write down you know calories consumed, training, blah blah blah, sleep intake, hydration. Do the basic experiment so you can form templates that work for you. Versus spending the rest of your life just sort of confused and walking around and you know it's like like riding bike. It's like if you want to get fit, you have to follow a training program so you know you're not under training and you know you're not over training. Yeah, you got, you got to do the basic math, the grade two maths, the grade one math even, just the basic stuff. It's like, like budgeting for the week. You know, you got to budget for the week of your money or whatever, or your month or whatever you're doing, but you've just got to 
you got to have templates to follow. Use numbers to your advantage.